What this verse is saying is that man's problem, that our separation from God is not caused by intellectual ignorance. It's actually caused by immorality, by disobedience to God's moral commandments and imperatives. To really illustrate this, there's a verse in John that says that men love the darkness rather than the light because their deeds are evil. So people do not want to come to the light of God because they love evil and they don't want their deeds to be exposed by the light. They they don't want to be judged. So you'll always find a link between immorality, disobedience to God's commands, and atheism. I can demonstrate my point. If I was to tell you like Jesus did, that looking at a woman in pornography to lust after her is committing a sin, and that if you want to know God and follow Him, you have to give up pornography. How many people would you? How many people out there would be willing to do that? Do you, do you love God more than you love pornography? Did your behavior and morals vastly change when you became a Christian? Did you used to swear a lot, etc., before you converted? I can honestly say that I stand before you as an entirely new creation, a new person. Before I was a Christian, I was a dark, and brooding, drug-abusing, profane, perverse animal. That's what I was. And I would argue most people, before they come to Christ, are very similar to different degrees. Uh, yeah, I used to swear a lot. Uh, typical teenage vocabulary. Um, I was into things like uh, drug use. I was heavily, heavily into drugs for about six or seven years before I became a Christian. And the first thing I did when I became a Christian is I, I threw out my stash of all, all my stuff, paraphernalia and whatnot. And uh, my philosophy of life changed. I once thought that humanity was a blight upon the earth, that since we were just an extension of the animal kingdom, that we were the most abusive animals on the planet, destroying the planet, and that we would be better off dead. And uh, in fact, my opinion of life was so bleak, since I thought all life was just endless amounts of suffering, that it would be best if we just destroyed all the universe and all creation and thus cease to exist. Why did God let the Holocaust happen? You know, Jesus would often answer a question with a question. I will be direct, but I'd like to ask you this. What was really so bad about the Holocaust?